What's up there everybody and welcome back to Trucking with iVision. Oh, we're still here, like I said. We're gonna do another another episode in uh in our current state. As we are kinda still checking out some of the stuff in the 1.35 update before we move on to Washington. So next episode is Washington. Uh but we got ourselves a load here uh of some paper. Some good old paper. We're going to writing, it's actually not paper though. It's an empty, empty trailer. Um, but we're going to Reading, and we're going to check out the 299. And this was uh, one of the other rows that was updated in the in the 1.35 update. So we're going to do that. We're only going to get a part of it, though, which is probably good enough. There's probably really nothing super special here. Uh, but we'll, we'll check it out. 406 miles is what it's going to take us. It's not that much different than if we were to straight shot it down. Um, so, yeah, it should be good. We'll see how long it takes. You know, it's kind of a kind of a distance. Uh, we changed out the GPS uh, voice navigation. We got Kevin Hart with us today, so Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart. So, but here we go. Here's our truck. Oh, there she is. She's beautiful. I like her. I love this truck. Uh, still not sure what's going on with the navigation, though. Not displaying in the cab. Uh, but whatever. It is. It's fine. It is what it is. We'll we'll be all right. Kevin will take good care of us, won't you, Mister Kevin Hart? be fun we'll see how it is make sure though if you guys want to see uh different voice navigations you drop them off in the comments so i know which ones you guys want to check out you know you can link it to me through the steam store or the steam workshop or uh i use modsat or ats mods or the other two websites you know, it's 0.1 miles i need you to turn right you got it he's kind of I, I need know. you to turn right. He's very stern, I feel like. Very, very stern. Alright, man, this is kind of heavy for for an empty load. Oh, baby. That's beautiful. Let's see. Empty pallets, 41,000 pounds. I guess that's a fairly decent size. Wait. Might put her, might put her engine to the test a little bit here today. So we'll see. But yeah, this will be the last portion of the 1.5, 1.35 update that we'll check out. And then uh, next episode we'll check out Washington. We'll get up there, have some fun. And I'm, I'm super excited for Washington. There's some really cool stuff there. The other neat thing, uh, I believe the Steam Summer Sale actually starts uh, next week. So we got that coming as well. So I know I got a ton of stuff that... I plan on getting so hopefully, hopefully the sale's good. I'm actually in 0.1 miles. Turn left. All right, that's the only way we can go. Uh, but no, I'm really hoping that with the Epic Turn Store left. now, uh, that we might see a comeback of like the flash sales that Steam used to do. You know, when you would really get like that 75, 80 percent off, and that's when you knew you were getting a deal. Instead of how they just drop them all to whatever price it's going to be. And that's what you get for the whole duration of the sale. So I'm really hoping that that makes a comeback here. Um, but I don't know if the Epic stores made enough of a dent for Steam to even try something to, or try to even do that again. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. So like I said, I got a ton of stuff on the list that I plan on getting... So, I'm going to try and stick around like 75 to 100 hours that I spend. I mean, I haven't spent this much, or planned to spend this much in a while. So, let's see, we need to go south. There we are, south versus Medford. We might actually have to take that left. But yeah, man, this engine is, whew, taking our time. Come on, baby. Got a ways to go, so get up to speed. Please keep left, and oh. then exit left. All right, that's what I thought we were doing. I'm trying to use like a lot of the signs and read the speed limit, seeing as though we can't see any of that stuff. So I think it's a lot more doable with voice navigation. It's a little bit more realistic, I feel like. See, we probably got to merge. Oh, maybe not. 
This lane merges into us. So got no, no vehicles there, so we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure the speed limit is 45 at the moment, so... I think it was, yep. Now well, we're going up. 55's our limit. Not a fan. I don't know if I, if I, how I feel about the truck versus car speed limit. I, get, I understand why they do it. I just, I don't know. I almost feel like... Oh, that's cool. Aw, oh, speeding. Keep right. And then exit right. Ah, uh, he was right behind us. Go figure. Um, I was checking out the art, to be honest. Exit right. But, but I was going to say, I just don't, I don't know. I feel like trucks are a little bit more safer than vehicles. Uh, I, I understand that they're a lot bigger. They take longer to slow down. But I feel like there might be some more safety features on semi-trucks to help them in braking situations. Still up to the driver, though, but... Um, Oof, this is, I'm enjoying this. I did disable DirectX 11 though. I did disable that. I was having some weird issues with it, so we just decided to can it for now. Maybe after the next update or minor update, I might have a little bit more tweaked on it. But, I mean, Washington's only been out for about a, what, a week and a half, two weeks now. So, Pretty sure another update would be coming soon. And by update, I'm talking about just like bug fixes. Nothing, no, no new major updates. I would like to start seeing two states at a time. Would be nice. A little bit more. And we just need more than two states a year. You know, we're talking two states a year. It's probably going to take about a good 20 some years by the time they finish this game. And at that point, I don't think anybody's going to be. Straight. Probably going to want like a different version, you know, it'll be like ATS 2 or something. But it was really cool to see that this game reach uh, some Steam top sellers uh, once Washington got released. That was really cool to see because there were some other big game names out there at that time, too. So for. For SES to have American Truck Simulator and Hero Truck Simulator up there. That's impressive. That's impressive stuff. Man, this is beautiful this way. Like, well, look at this. This is just beautiful. Oh, no! Oncoming traffic! Oof. I am the worst driver outside the cab. The worst. I try so hard too, but I think what it is, I get so caught up moving, moving the camera and stuff, that I'm just like, oh, but that's super cool there. This guy's slowing down here. Why are you slowing down, buddy? Why are you slowing down? Speed almost 55. Like, come on, man, 55. 55. There you go. This is that windy road though, so that could be part of it too. On that windy stretch, I kind of want to pass him though. Someone yelled at me for my driving. I don't like my, my turns. Ooh, a train up there. It's cool. Nice big one. Oh, that was super cool. I think I saw like a mod out there for like a 50 train length train it was like insane I was like oh I don't know about that wait for 50 cars to go by look at this area too this is a very nice stretch here oh, we're going uphill this is so cool with your creek try and keep her straight get her straight there this is so cool Kind of hang outside the cab a bit as we do this. I mean, as long as we're going slow enough, I can handle the that car just zipping around the corner, zipping around the bend. It's dangerous. 
Ends are very, very dangerous. More so for like you have two trucks coming at each other, but. Kind of see everything that's going on. SCS likes to always throw some weird stuff in there too, so you never know what you might find. Yeah, these, some of these roads though I feel like are super, super crazy. There's a viewpoint one mile up. I do feel like we've been on this road. I almost think we were on this road when we came. Came before. It was just a nighttime run, so we couldn't really see anything. But I also don't remember going this slow. We would have probably had to go this slow for some of these curves. Or at least slowed down. There is a viewing point, though. We'll slow down here as we come across and kind of see. Oh, that's cool. It's a nice lake. We got some trees in the way though, but hey. Alright. Pick up some speed again. Page is price. Paper. Yep. Oh. What we got going on here? Some car troubles. That officer didn't didn't even help ya. Look at this traffic though, just coming into the under our lane, just no no regrets. Unbelievable. That's dangerous though, because that's how like a curve. I can't really see through these woods here. Kinda see. Not a whole lot. Up back. Whoa! Truck pulling out. Truck pulling out. And oh, what's back there? 55's the limit, Mr. Safeway. Look at that. Look at that convoy. That is beautiful. I mean, we're a little bit in the lane, but hey. Other, other trucks get that way, too. What we got over here? Some. Looks like almost the, the forest almost burned down a little bit, and it's kind of regrowing back. It's crazy. That's what it looks like happened over here. A forest fire. Uh, let's see what else we got going on that's new. I didn't no new like super mods. I, you know a lot of mods got updated still. Cause everybody's trying to tweak everything for uh, 1.35 and get everything working and functional again. Um, so yeah, there's really nothing new there. Uh. We still got more two point hospital coming. We're gonna be ooh, slowing down. Alright, dude, make your turn. Oh, he's just getting over a lane. Interesting. Interesting. Uh but yeah. So we'll have two more 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 ooh, can't speak today. Uh two more more two point hospital is coming. And uh let's see. We're gonna be starting the hopefully soon. Hopefully, uh, we'll be moving on to the DLC stuff there as well. So that'll be exciting. The main content. There's so much content in that game. It's it's, it's fun, especially if you're trying to get three star every hospital. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little little train area there. But uh, we'll have that. I'm also thinking uh, we might be doing like. Uh, be doing a sim airport series as well so I'm not really sure it's, it's just one of those things it's one of those things but uh, we're gonna try and do a, a sim airport I think I don't know we'll see I want I just want to do something new you know get some new content more different content uh, and we'll see what it is. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. It's fun. It's fun. It'll be good. And uh, just following this guy behind, in front of us, Mr. Safeway. And then brakes. I'm not really sure why yet, though. 
wonder if Kevin's still with us. Kevin, Kevin Hart, you still here? Huh? I don't see him. I see him there. Been on this road for a while, though. Very long time. We'll set the cruise. Set the cruise while we go. Moving, moving right along. Been on this road though for a really long time. I have to check it out. I feel like I need to hit the map here shortly. GPS. Man, I wish that combine was moving. I would, that's what SCS needs to add a little bit more of. Is more uh, animated uh, assets. I think that would like really make the world come alive a little bit more. Even here, we don't really have much traffic either that we're dealing with. On the road, so that's kind of... Oh, we can bypass the way station. It's nice. Can bypass the way station. Thank you. Now we're gonna get a ticket. <laughs> Bypassing the way station to get a ticket. Just wait for it. I've had that happen once. Where it said I could bypass and then I ended up getting a ticket for it and I was like, oh come on. Come on, like that's not cool. It's not cool. Alright, I'm gonna check the GPS here. See where we're kinda at. Oh, kinda making that stretch stretch straight run. Continue wrong. straight. Kevin is with us. Kevin's back. Hello, Kevin. Glad to see ya. Thought, thought we lost you there. Ooh, loves. Loves gotta love loves. Uh, we got Chevron. Well, I don't know, like what happened to my actual gas station names? What happened to that? We used to have actual Chevron. Uh, can we go faster now, or are we still at 45? I think we're still at 45. 97 to Reading. We're actually not going that way. We're going towards Klamath Falls. Uh, we would take Reading, but because we want to go check out uh, 299, which is that new new road that was introduced for the 1.35 update. They introduced two, two new roads in that update. So we checked out the last road. For the first road last episode, and we'll check out this road this episode. Continue straight. And then, uh, yeah, and then we're moving on to Washington. <clears throat> Let's go, boys. I'd like to get through this light. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, man. Unbelievable. Now, we have a convoy with us, though. That is a combo. So cool. Oh, what gas station that is over there. Hey man, you wanna go? Oh, cool, I like that. They got the actual turn lane there. I like that. That was a big uh Big change in the last update, so they must have changed that. But I don't know. We, I mean, we didn't go. Ugh, man, speaking today is awful. Oh, uh, we haven't gone through this area though before, so I couldn't tell you what points were at that intersection to begin with. But oh well, I think that I think it's new. All right, we gotta get over. We'll see if we can get over here before they cause a traffic jam because of the merge and all the traffic behind us. I'm gonna go 50. I think 50 is a good, good spot until I can see what the speed, speed limit actually is. So we can just do this. 65. 65, so we can get up to speed here. Do some speed. I wish the navigation would tell us the speed limit of the road or when it changes. That'd be kind of helpful. Especially if the navigation isn't working in the cab. Like we got. We'll set the cruise though. 
as we head on into the drive. Problem is, it's going to be 8 o'clock and we haven't even hit 299 yet. So it's going to be another night run through this, through a new, new road territory, which sucks. That really sucks. So that's not what I want. I want daytime driving. Daytime. But only so much we can do besides manipulating the time of day ourselves. That's obviously not realistic. Continue straight. Yeah, we are. It's 139 now that we're coming up to. All right, back up to 65. But yeah, it's going to be, by the time we get to the 299, it's going to be like 10 o'clock at night, I feel like. Just, ah, that's such a shame. Yeah, it's coming up shortly, though. But. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and I can see where we're at currently probably be about 9 o'clock by the time we hit the 299 so we'll see how much we actually see it's kind of probably foresty like this though I would assume because we're kind of in that type of territory but still would prefer that we can see stuff obviously because that's the whole point right we're showing off the route all right why are you going slow now man why are you going so slow? The speed limit... Oh, oh, I lied. The sign said 65 again after it said 55. That's what I just feel like. That's the other thing like SES needs to try and correct is you have a sign and then the speed limit doesn't go to that. It's just like, come on. Like that should be tweaked or fixed. But I also think a lot of people don't drive on some of these some of these back roads like this. I think the majority of I would say the majority of drivers probably stay on the main highways. Obviously for faster speeds. So some of these little things probably don't get noticed. And I wouldn't say I see a lot of it. I see it every now and then. Yeah, it looks beautiful out though. That's In for 0 sure. .1 miles. I need you to turn right. I need you to turn right. Turn and right. Turn and right. Come on, Mr. Pole Transportation. There you go. Look at that. Mm, that was a nice turn, I feel like. That was a beautiful turn. All right, here we are. We're on the 299 that we can semi sort of see. We'll turn on the brights here. How about that? That kind of help void it up on our path. As long as no cars are coming, we should be good. It almost looks like the clouds there is like a tornado. What is going on up here? What is going on up here? Road work. Left lane closed. Interesting. This is cool. Got got some cars coming. We'll turn our headlights off. Our brights. This is neat. I like the, the traffic light that they used. Hopefully this truck can get through where we're at. I, mean, I stopped kind of on the line. Is this guy going to stop too now? Oh, that's so cool. All of those. I wonder if they go the opposite way when it's our turn to go. That would be so cool. All them uh, traffic cone lights do that. Nope. That would have been really neat though if they changed direction based on 
the flow of traffic. So like now that it's our turn, you know that they, they would come kind of come this way. But turn on the brights here, you can kind of see what they're doing. This is super cool. Uh, Mr. Officer. It's a really long wait back there, though. So there's the first thing on the 299 is road construction. I don't know if that's a, a mainstay thing or uh, one of them random events. But either way, that was really cool. It was really cool and exciting. And uh, let's see. Don't really have much over neither side of us right now. A bunch of trees and open land. Got the moon. That's the thing. We got the moon. Mm, I think SES does a really good job with the headlights. And the lighting. I think it's a really good job. Works out really well. I think the speed on it's 60. No, 45. 45. That's crazy. Must be some steep turn. Yep. Some steep curves here. Or sharp curves, however. It's kind of like a... Because we're kind of on a, a downgrade slope here. And it's a curve, so... Curious on... It's down there. What's down there? From what I can see, it looks like just open land. It's downhill. Ooh, we're going pretty fast. Caught some speed there going down that hill. Look at this. I'm on the, like, retarder, not slowing down. That's crazy. That is just crazy. But yeah, now we're kind of just going all downhill from here. So back off the gas, so pedal a little bit, let our momentum take us, there we go, is there another, another truck up ahead, Ooh, we're down to 40 now for this moment, is that lights up here, what is this, 30, let's kill the brights, let's kill the bright lights, the may, it's interesting having lights up there like that, Looks like a little bit of a town. Little little small town. Population of 40. They've got themselves a little, little store. Fuel station. Looking good. Looking good. Alright. We're clearing the town here. More houses. And we're out of town. Very nice. Oh, come on, baby. I think I can, I think I can. So many more miles we got here. 72 more miles to go. It's past the almost 11 p.m. mark. Wow. Be about 11.30 by the time I think we get this trailer dropped off. So, a little bit of a long episode, almost, but not, not fully. Not too, too bad. Be a lot worse. So, come on, come on buddy, speed almost 45, I got up the hill, so can you. I do want to take a tanker load. We haven't taken a tanker in a while, and I would love to get a tanker taken somewhere. Uh, Washington obviously doesn't seem like a place for it, but... That's alright. I'm, I'm trying to think. We've had some cool tanker drop off, so. The gas station one's probably. It's probably the more fun one. Or more realistic. Not that the other ones aren't, but. Giving fuel to a. Bringing fuel to a fuel station is pretty. It's pretty cool. But it would be also neat if they gave, like, multiple contracts for one load you know like so if I take a tanker you gotta hit like three gas stations in a town before it's it's complete you know you pull up it does its thing you drive to the next one pull up like, that'd be kind of neat if they could do something like that 
you know, because there are obviously some truckloads that, you know, the whole load isn't going to that one spot. So, it'd be kind of cool if they, if they ever implemented, like, multiple drop-offs with one trailer. I guess the way they could do it is with ownable trailers. You could pick up multiple loads based on the weight, you know, make it so, okay, your, your trailer can only take so much weight. And then based on that weight, you know, you know, I could, let's say 60,000 pounds is what I could take. And I take 45,000 pounds of one load and then 15,000 pounds for another load I could take. And then I'd have those two deliveries to make. And you can make that all within a certain time. I think that'd be kind of cool. Not really sure here what we're doing. We're staying in this lane. I mean, please keep left. Left. And then turn oh shit! Left. Oh man, that was that dude's fault. I had my directional on. Started making my turn. He just kept coming. Ah, oh, we sideswiped him. What's the damage? One percent. Oh, we got robbed on that. Where's that dude even at? No idea. Oh, boom. That was some bogusness. If I ever saw some. Look at this. Oof. Sideswipe their trailer. Yeah, that guy's out in the center there. I'm out there. You going, dude? Like, what is this guy doing? I don't think he's turning. He's definitely going straight. I'm not really sure what he was doing. See if he moves now that we have. Yep, he does. Oh well, the light was green, so hard to say. I've been curious to see if he would have ran through the red after we had gone through. Cause then that means he was waiting on us to make our turn. But because if we were that far on the intersection, we would have been fine. That guy, not a fine. Unbelievable. Well, so that was the 299. Really nothing super special there. The town was kind of cool. Uh, but this is the, the home stretch here for us. Like I said, we're going to see some new road. Which will be cool. Get this knocked out. Uh, so it'll be cool to see what we have for, for map coverage once this was done. Because we did see quite a bit of new road for the most part. Obviously, once we add uh, Washington into the mix, that's going to bring us down quite a bit. I mean, every time they come up with an update... Please keep left. Alright. Or keep left. Uh, every time they come up with a new update, I feel like they make tweaks to the roads. You know, so it always takes like a little segment away or something. It's like, man, now i got to go back through there. And, and with the way the roads are, it's not like you can just go into like a... You know, like a circle or something to catch everything. You know, you're kind of like here, there, and everywhere. Keep right, and then exit right. You got it. I think what it would be cool if SCS did also would be like exit right. The events that they put on, if they were to do events in old, old areas, to get people back to those areas. You know, if they can, so I'm sure they can kind of see like right. where people are driving to the most or not and cater their event to that data you know so it's like oh you guys don't really go through here so let's make an event that kind of checks out this area again or something i think that would be kind of neat especially as as the map grows and gets bigger you know you're gonna not check out some areas as frequently you know like i probably won't come to the west coast here that often in zero once we start getting to the turn left. Once we start getting turn get, left. Turn left. Oh, was I supposed to turn left into there? Oh no! Thank God. It's like I know we couldn't. Um. Once we start getting to like the Midwest and stuff, I don't think I'll be coming back to the West Coast. You know, I think the majority of people's driving is going to be in areas that they're familiar with. 
for the most part, and then they'll do the occasional journey to areas that, oh, it'd be kind of cool to see this area or whatnot. All right. Where are we going, Mr. Hart? Not there. FedEx, maybe? I have a feeling it's FedEx. So we'll kind of slow down here. Nope. Hey! You reached your destination, sucker! You're not as bad as I thought. Don't forget to catch the new movie, Ride Along, January hmm. 17th. Yeah, it was FedEx. I knew it was FedEx. Oops. Alright, let's back her up. Make sure nobody's behind us, though. Please stop. Thank you. Don't mind us. Somebody gave us the wrong directions. Come on, baby. Here we go. And we're probably dropping it right off right there. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Kind of zipper in here. Oh, that was some skill trucking right there. Kind of just pull it like this. Alright, I need to go... There we go. I'm trying to think of like which way I needed to put this thing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we're going to have to... Might be alright, actually. Be able to swing it. Oh, yeah. Feel very confident. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, well, it accepts it, but I don't know if I want to. Like, I want, I, I feel like it should be like that, you know? Mm-hmm, <clears throat> let's just kind of, let's just straighten it out just a bit. And then we'll be good. Just a bit there. All right, we'll see how we do. That's not going to straighten it out. Oh. There we go. I think that'll be much better. Set the parking brake. Eh. Decent. It's acceptable work for me. There we go, we'll sync that contract, look at that. Excelente. That's beautiful. We didn't get a damage penalty, so I guess that's good. But yeah, let's see, let's check out much of the world map. We've got covered 65.8%. It's pretty good, pretty decent. There's still a lot of gray, little gray sections though, um, that we need to figure out what to do with. Not so much over here. Um, definitely in Nevada. A little bit up here now. Uh, Oregon's pretty covered. We got that pretty well done. I thought we did a pretty decent job with that. So, I would assume that this stretch, and a lot of this here, this is crazy. The amount that's done here. But I feel like there's a lot of hard, like, Eli, PO, like some of those places. There's not a lot of deliveries. So, it doesn't help. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, it was fun. We got our trailer delivered, dropped off. Our truck looks beautiful. Uh, only a couple of pickups. Otherwise, it was a pretty smooth journey with Kevin Hart. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time with some more trucking with iVision. Uh -huh.